Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I got something amazing for you guys, something exclusive. So what I have here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus clone, okay? So this is the exact phone you'll be getting when you buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And on top of that, what I have is, I have two cases over here uh, from iBlazon and Soupcase, for which I'm gonna drop links down below as well. But in this video, what I'm gonna do first is I wanna take this phone show you exactly what it looks like with all the cameras on the back and also put it side by side with the Note 9 and the S10 and do some comparisons. And then I'm gonna put these cases on, these beautiful cases on it, and I'll show you guys how the phone looks in an actual case. And remember, these cases can be pre-ordered right now. The links are gonna be down in the description box below. Anyway, the main dish is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So let's dive in and take a look at what's happening over here. Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. All right, so here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 dummy unit. This is exactly what the phone is actually gonna look like. And like I said, I also have a couple of cases that laser fit into this dummy model that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But I did get this in a huge box with a bunch of cases and I did wanna do an unboxing, but then I decided not to do the unboxing. I just took everything out. I want to show you guys directly uh, what the Note 10 is all about. So here we have the Note 10. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and put it right next to it, just like this. And I want you guys to notice that the size of these two smartphones is identical, okay? So you get the same height, the same width, and of course, almost the same thickness. But then again, you're gonna have, on this one, you have a 6.4 inch display, but on this one, you're gonna have a 6.8 inch massive display. And the reason for that is because while this phone does have while this phone does have bezels on the top and the bottom and on the side, this one is not gonna have any one of those, okay? So it's gonna have a tiny little camera over here on the top that's gonna be in the middle, but most of the phone is gonna be all screen with super thin bezels on the side, almost non-existent, and a small chin at the bottom that we can actually see if you look very carefully, but it's kind of hard to tell. And then of course, we're gonna have a tiny forehead on the bottom. So that's gonna make sure that we have a 6.8 inch display here. And over here, we have a 6.4 inch. So you can see the difference. They're exactly the same size, which gives me a lot of satisfaction because this one, uh, this phone is on the, on the larger side. So holding this phone is barely comfortable, which I don't care. I mean, I like bigger phones, but this phone is gonna give you a larger screen and similar holding capacity. That's fantastic, all right? So that's that. So here we have this one right here, okay? So that's the Note 9. That's the Note 10 Plus, the larger model. And then let me show you uh, over here, we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, as you can see, uh, the Note 10 is not that much larger than this. Again, this one has a 6.4 inch display. This is gonna have a 6.8 inch display. And then again, we have a leap over here from the Note 9 because this one is just as large, but it comes with a similar display. Now, let's take a look at the cameras really quickly. So we have uh, dual cameras over here, triple rear cameras, plus one extra time of flight camera over here. So we have four cameras, and this is the S10 Plus. We have three cameras on this one. Now, these three cameras are gonna be identical to these three cameras. We have a uh, 12 megapixel main camera, we have a wide angle camera, we have a telephoto camera, we're gonna have a main camera also 12 megapixels, we're gonna have a super wide, and we're gonna have a telephoto lens for zooming in and out. But on top of that, this one, now here's the flash, there's the flash. We do have two dots here, not sure exactly what the two dots are, but one of the two dots is 100%, the fourth time of flight 3D depth sensing camera. So that's fantastic. We got four cameras on this one, and of course we have the uh, the vertical layout over here as opposed to the horizontal layout we have on the Note 9 and the S10 Plus. Let me know down in the comments below if you prefer this kind of layout or this kind of layout. Now, I'm looking at these phones right now, and I'll be honest with you, I'm actually enjoying 
uh, this vertical layout right here and maybe that's because it's something new something we have not seen before but I'm actually enjoying looking at this uh, form factor over the horizontal layouts even though uh, the horizontal layouts doesn't bother me this just looks a slightly better something new something fresh and of course we do know that over here we do have the Bixby button that a lot of people really don't care about uh, on this phone uh, on this phone the Bixby button is gone there's no button on the side over here we have the volume rocker and the power button we'll see how those work in real life and over here of course we have the uh, Bixby button right over here volume rocker and the power button right there okay but from the front side you can see again how these uh, phones measure when you compare them side by side and if I was to grab this and this and just put them like that you'll see that the thickness is almost the same now remember this dummy model is the exact same measurement you're gonna get on the Note 10 Plus because it has to fit in the cases that they sell before the release of these phones so let's put this aside what I'm gonna show you guys is here are two cases from iBlazon that I really like and again I'm gonna drop the links down below thanks to them for providing these cases and this dummy model here let's put the phone in the case and see how it looks in these beautiful cases and there's gonna be more cases that I'll be making videos about uh, very shortly all right so this is not all the cases but these are the two cases that I really like the moment I saw the design is amazing over here and here and of course they've got the exact cutouts now I'll let you know right away if you look at the bottom of these cases we do not have a cutout for the headphone jack so there is no headphone jack we have you've got the microphone cutout uh, we've got the uh, USB cutout we've got the speaker cutout and the S Pen cutout and that's it so let's put it in the case and see what's happening so here's a case from another angle and I do want to show you exactly so at the bottom you know we've got the uh, microphone we've got the USB we got the speaker grill and of course we have the S Pen now that S Pen of course doesn't come out it is going to be a dummy unit over here we've got the power button the volume up and down on the top you've got the cutout for the microphone and I don't know what the other cutout is so we're going to find out that in the unpacked event so let's stay tuned it might be an IR blaster and over here we have uh, again I showed you this already the cameras here's a close-up nice and precise cutout and on this side we've got nothing okay so remember we do not have a Bixby button on the side or perhaps we don't have a power button maybe this button here will be both Bixby and power which is what I suspect so that's the first case let me show you the other case as well really quickly uh, just to give you a quick demonstration if you like these cases like I said the links will be down below this one is my favorite case I'll be making more videos with the new cases as well All right, so here's the other case from the front and again I love this blue accent around the edges just gives it some character to the phone and then again we have the same exact cutouts at the middle uh, we do have a protection over here that's for the USB port then we got the microphone uh, the speaker grill and the S Pen over here we have nothing on this side over here we've got the buttons uh, volume rockers and the power button and on the top we've got the two cutouts let me know what you guys think this second cutout could be all right and this is the back of the case a couple of fingerprints here that I didn't clean up uh, but this is a see-through case so you can see the back of your phone so if you get the white phone and you put it over here you're gonna see the white background showing up right here and of course I did not clean the fingerprints from the inside the case but regardless this looks like an amazing case now the good thing with these cases are they are in fact very protective so this phone is not gonna get damaged as you bump it around because it's got the uh, absorbers on all sides and thick rubber all over the place to protect these smartphones so that is the second case that I really like when I open the box all right so that's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 plus and of course some of you may be wondering what specs we'll be getting with this smartphone and let me tell you all we know so far we do have a Snapdragon 855 plus processor or the Exynos 9825 we are going to be getting standard 12 gigabytes of RAM with the plus model 256 gigabytes of storage with micro SD expansion option quad rear cameras one front camera no headphone jack IP69 not IP68 but IP69 grade water resistance and many more features such as super fast wired 45 watt charging so overall this phone is going to be a powerhouse that is going to satisfy most Note 10 
fans. Now links to those cases I mentioned in this video are down below to the websites and I'll be dropping more and more Note 10 videos so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Socky Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Socky Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.